I'd like to thank you, Professor Rigg and Professor Howell. Uh, it's a great honor and pleasure to be in here. So, this is the subject of my, of my presentation. Uh, I will try to be quick. Uh, thermovision application in whole body cryotherapy. Um, this presentation contains a little more information that it was put into the abstract because I, I, I thought that it, it could be a, a great place to, to say a little more about things that we do, uh, that we did in our department. First, I'd like to say a few words about cryotherapy. Uh, this is the medical branch that relies on using the cold on the whole human body. Uh, cold, I mean, uh, air temperature is lower than minus 100 degree and so there are three ma mainly three types of devices uses, used in <coughs> such medical treatment uh, maybe I'll start for, for, from this one, cryosauna it's, it looks like a tube that only one patient takes therapy and uh, the patient see everything around him so, so it is very good for patients with claustrophobia uh, maybe next I have a picture, quite, quite, quite a picture. <laughs> nice. Uh, this is scam. Uh, it, it is a two-level cryogenic chamber, which consists of uh, pre-chamber when temperature is uh, around uh, minus 60, and main chamber when main, where main therapy takes place. Uh, these are the door um, where patients enter into the chamber, and after 60 seconds in minus 60 temperature, minus 60 uh, uh, Celsius degree, and, uh, they are coming into the main chamber for about three minutes. And this is the, this is the therapy. And the last type of cryo cryogenic therapy, it is called in Poland uh, cryo, cryo chamber with lingering cold, because it uses a physical phenomenon where cold, cold air is uh, could stay in a, in a hole, in a hole. So mm, this type of, of cryo chamber is usually built, not usually, always built uh, below the ground in a, in a room where it is installed. So this is the ground, this is the floor, and patients uh, go downstairs uh, uh, by the steps, stairs, steps. Uh, and so the same, three minutes in uh, at least minus 100 uh, Celsius degree. Uh, most of these studies were performed on different group of patients. Um, uh, like it put in an abstract, uh, most of this was performed for patients with um, different spine diseases like ankylosing spondylitis statica and spondylarthrosis. However, I will show you uh, a little more in the next slide. Uh, I will try to answer three, three items. Uh, in this presentation. First, uh, I'd like to try to determine the skin temperature response due to whole uh, body cryotherapy, whole body cryotherapy due to uh, low temperature uh, impact on whole human body. And next, to determine the value of thermovision diagnostic, um, mostly in uh, spine diseases, like I said, but not only. And I would like to uh, find out to evaluate the therapeutic effects of whole body cryotherapy uh, with thermovision diagnostic as well uh, other uh, our our analyzers I will show you. Uh, this is the these are the thermograms of bags normals for healthy. Um, we are try tried to mm, follow by the protocol of Professor Ring and Amer. Uh, so we performed many studies uh, that we try to analyze the temperature of different parts of the body uh, and we used to, to, to reach this eye we, we used the thermovision camera uh, so first that we that we saw after after mm, uh, made the thermograms of the back is that the, uh, that the temperature range from a region of interest uh, increases more than two times after body cooling. Uh, we thought that it could be a mm, mm, good, 
information. It, it could <coughs> give us, it, it could give us uh, some additional information, and uh, maybe we could see additional details for patients with some um, diseases like inflammatory and degenerative uh, uh, states. Uh, but in this this part of this presentation, skin temperature response, we perform only studies to analyze the temperature the temperature decrease of the body due to uh, cold impact. This is the table uh, with uh, data uh, from different body parts. Uh, the most uh, decrease of the mean temperature was observed for tibias. However, the whole human body uh, temperature decrease was obtained to about 6 degrees. Uh, the temperature, the, the, the mean body temperature was calculated according to, uh, to such uh, equation. It is equation from one of the most uh, books in medical universities in Poland. Uh, so in this uh, equation, uh, the most meaning in this equation uh, has a feet, tibia, back, chest, arms, hands and head uh, to the, to the um, mean temperature of whole human body. Uh, why we did this? We tried to uh, answer the question if such parameters like uh, magnitude of minus temperature and uh, time of uh, staying inside the chamber uh, has potential influence of, uh, on uh, therapeutic effects. Why? Because we met uh, uh, people like big men uh, over 150 kilograms and very thin lady uh, who also had to stay had to stay in the same temperature in the same time uh, during uh, let me say the same therapy. Yes. So uh, that was the question: if such parameters uh, may have some influence on the therapeutic effects, and we used um, the the BMI uh, body mass index coefficient and correlate with uh, temperature uh, temperature drop uh, temperature drop of, of, of body skin and we obtained quite positive correlation so maybe uh, it has some um, potential influence on therapeutic effects maybe we should um, prepare uh, cryotherapy uh, according to body mass index uh, Maybe we should change uh, the time of uh, staying inside the, inside the chamber, or maybe we should uh, change the magnitude of low temperature. Uh, the next, ne next I, the next answer, uh, the thermovision diagnostic. Uh, we performed many thermograms of back, uh, healthy, like here, before and after, whole body cryotherapy, body cooling. Uh, and for a patient with different spine diseases. Like here, uh, we have a patient with ankylosing spondylitis. This is the thermogram performed before, before whole body cryotherapy in normal conditions outside the chamber and uh, after uh, body cooling. Uh, also in the same condition, in the same room, but of course after, after cold impact. And uh, the next slide shows us um, a patient with sciatica and uh, uh, spondyl arthrosis. Uh, when we look at the, uh, uh, looked uh, up on the thermograms, we, we, we saw some differences between um, temperature distribution along the uh, region of interest. Uh, however, we, we were interested in temperature along the spine line, along the area connected with the spine. We can see that for different patients, like here, uh, the temperature, mm, the areas characterized with higher temperature uh, are connected with different uh, spine regions uh, in opposite to, to healthy and even to healthy one patient that I, that I show you uh, at, the first, at the first thermograms in, in this presentation. Uh, these are also uh, some differences uh, for sciatica and spondylar arthrosis. So the first hour uh, conclusions were that maybe, um, in our opinion, sciatica uh, is characterized that the increase of uh, skin temperature occurs in lower lumbar region of spine and over adjacent tissue. Uh, 
on the other way, as spondylar arthrosis, the inflammatory state was connected with wider range of pain than in sciatica, but also in the lower lumbar region, like here, in the lower, yes, lower back. About ankylosing spondylitis, the areas of higher temperature were observed almost along the whole spinal column. What is the specificity of this disease? And we tried to, um, tried to perform some statistical analysis to, to confirm or, or, or not this, this, um, our conclusions. Uh, we introduced some temperature coefficient like the temperature contrast, defined like this, a relative contrast ratio, mean, uh, uh, temperature contrast divided by mean temperature from chosen region of interest. We obtained uh, the statistical significant differences between uh, temperature parameters obtained for healthy and for patients. Uh, in both, these are very similar, I would say, um, temperature parameters. However, um, this is very clearly seen that uh, this is statistical significant difference between healthy and the patient, but uh, there are no, there were no significant differences between uh, each um, group of patients suffered from different uh, spine diseases. Uh, uh, additionally, uh, I'd like to show you one slide with thermograms of patients with, uh, with um, uh, inflammatory state of venous of venous magna in left side. Uh, we, can, we can see in thermogram performed before uh, whole body cryotherapy uh, some area characterized with higher temperature, but uh, I would say nothing special. But after body cooling, we, would see, we could see uh, three areas uh, marked with arrows uh, that could be connected with wrong uh, functioning of false in this, in this vine. So uh, maybe it could be very interesting to, 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 applic uh, to application in, in, in some uh, vines diseases. And the last I'm, the last try to, to, to the last answer um, for the third I'm in my presentation is therapeutic effects. We try to uh, find out if whole body cryotherapy is so beneficial as part patient reported. Uh, because uh, uh, this is my last, uh, not this, but uh, on the last slide in this presentation, um, I prepared uh, the results of uh, patients' polls, uh, which point that uh, cryotherapy is very good um, for patients, they, 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 they thought, they, they reported, it is beneficial, it, it improves their health state. So we try to use a thermovision diagnostic uh, to, to, to check it. And uh, this is the thermogram performed before body cooling, uh, after in second day, uh, after in fifth day, and after uh, at the end of therapy, at this, the tenth day of, of uh, cryotherapy. Uh, I, I didn't say that whole cycle of uh, whole body cryotherapy last 10, 10, uh, 10 sessions of body cooling inside the cryo chamber. And we could see uh, some areas connected with, uh, with um, not only the region of, of, of spine but, but uh, proper vertebras uh, at the beginning after body cooling, in the middle, and at the end of uh, whole body cryotherapy. So, it looks like um, inflammatory state or diseases remains till the end of therapy. So maybe uh, this kind of therapy uh, doesn't treat it uh, totally. It is better seen uh, on the temperature plots, and on this temperature plots before uh, for example, one plot before uh, at the beginning of the cycle and um, after second day, fifth and ten uh, of uh, cryotherapy, we could see that this um, this changes, this, this areas characterized with higher temperature, this, these two peaks, reminds till the end of the therapy. 
uh, even patients said that uh, it was very good for their health. Uh -huh. We also tried to find out if uh, how about the cryotherapy changes the metabolism. Of course, uh, it, it should be obvious, but uh, a few years ago I read a paper where the author uh, wrote that that cryotherapy uh, doesn't make any 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 changes uh, in the metabolism. So we try uh, to calculate. We try to to use some physical uh, physical equations to, to to calculate it, and we combine the Newton law of cooling and uh, Kleiber's law of uh, metabolism. That BMR is basal metabolic rate, which is proportion to uh, mass of the of the organism, and and combine these two these two equations because basal metabolic rate is the production of energy inside the body. So it's a stream of energy, like in like in um, Newton law Newton law of cooling. So this is the equation which um, uh, shows uh, dependence of the temperature of the body uh, and uh, temperature of uh, environments surrounding like uh, in our opinion um, uh, temperature inside the cryo chamber and BMR so basal metabolic rate and the Kleiber's metabolism must increase at least a few times uh, during stay in the chamber Uh, I, I am, yes, of course, it is uh, almost last slide. Um, and this is the, mm, the slide um, uh, with, uh, which is the result of um, polls that uh, patients reported. So everyone can see that without recovery, only few percent reported of patients, and most of them uh, reported um, improving even of uh, feeling the pain, so the, the, the level of pain increases, yes, because they felt uh, less pain after than before, so the level I increases, and uh, improve of fitness after uh, whole body cryotherapy cycles. Uh, this is for patients who had uh, 1 to 10 sessions, after additional 10 sessions, everyone every patient reported that it was beneficial for their health. Uh, so it's time for conclusion. Uh, our results showed that increase the thermovisual diagnostic, the increase of thermovisual diagnostic uh, after body cooling and uh, in our opinion there are differences in thermal response of the body due to patient's body mass index. So maybe we can also observe the differences in the therapy effects. And thermovision can be helpful in monitoring of therapeutic effects of whole body cryotherapy. That's why we did it. Thank you very much.